Taking a live look inside the courtroom in Colleton County as the double murder trial for Alec Murdoch has entered its third week. And a major development today as the judge has ruled that the prosecution can indeed present evidence of his alleged financial crimes. Our Nick Neville is live outside of the Colleton County Courthouse. Nick, this is a huge blow to the defense and a big development. This is what the prosecution has been pushing for for more than a week. No doubt it is, Judy. So prosecutors have long contended that it was his alleged financial crimes and the possibility of having those exposed that led Alec Murdoch to murder his wife and son. The defense has tried to block this from being used as evidence in his murder trial, essentially saying that it's irrelevant to the facts of this case. But ultimately today, in a big ruling, Judge Newman decided that this is essential to complete the full story and paint the full picture for this jury. Normally, separate crimes a defendant is accused of cannot be admitted as evidence in another case. But there are exceptions to prove motive. Judge Clifton Newman explaining in his ruling that this evidence is so critical to the state's theory of the case that it's more probative than prejudicial. I find that the jury is entitled to consider whether the apparent desperation of Mr. Murdoch because of his dire financial situation, uh, the threat of being exposed uh, for committing uh, the crimes which he was later charged with resulted in the commission of the alleged crimes. That apparent desperation outlined by attorney Mark Tinsley in an in-camera hearing, Tinsley was suing Murdoch at the time of the murders on behalf of the family of Mallory Beach, who was killed in a boat crash involving Alex's son Paul. A hearing that could have led Murdoch to open his books was slated for three days after the killings. I think it's fair that to say that there wouldn't have been an explosion on June the 10th, but the fuse was lit. The jury also heard from Shelley Smith, the caretaker for Alec's mother, who tearfully testified that she saw a fidgety Alec for about 20 minutes the night of the murders. But a few days later, he told her that he was at the house for 30 or 40 minutes. That statement by Alex Murdoch affected you? Yes. How? I was nervous. Smith also testified that three days after his father's funeral, Alec came back to the home of his mother, this time carrying a blue tarp-like something. This afternoon, the prosecution presented as evidence both a blue tarp and a blue raincoat. You'll remember in opening statements, the prosecution said that contained in that bundle was gunshot residue. Reporting in Walterboro, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. All right, Nick, excellent reporting as always. SLED investigator Kristen Moore testified that after multiple tests, no blood was found on that blue raincoat that was retrieved from the home of Alec Murdoch's. Uh,